Alright guys, this is my video update for Codename Sammy on the a, on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the Codename Sammy version 1.4. Let's jump right into settings. There are a few improvements over the last build, which is 1.2, I believe. I've been using this for roughly three to four days, so I'm just gonna give you guys a, like a quick update with the ROM itself. As you see, it is now on Android 4.1.2, Jelly Bean. Go back and see code name Sammy version 1.4, and it has Franco Kernel Nightly as the newer updated Franco Kernel. Going back to the home screen, do you notice that it has a smooth UI? On the last one, it kind of hiccuped and felt really laggy, like whenever you try to do something. So now it just feels really smooth and it's also themed more so if we go into the phone you see that the dialer is theme more if we go back into settings you see that the settings are theme more see like the layout is just more uh touch whiz esque kind of layout and there's also newly themed toggles which I thought was pretty awesome. To get these, if you just go under interface, and you go to notification toggles, under toggle layout, they have the on off switch, they have toggle button, they have holo button, and they have multi row toggles. Multi row toggles is where you can have multiple rows of them, of course. I have the on off switch. If you go to toggle button, it's like the AOKP like toggles. If we go to holo button, it's like a Windows Metro UI kind of style. It looks actually really good like that too. And then of course you have multi-row, which takes up a lot of space. But if we go back to the on-off switch, it just matches the like the touch whiz kind of theme a lot more. That's why I have it. And also it has the new um, cyan engine mod battery widget. The little circle with a 12 right there. That is the new cyan engine mod battery widget, which is really cool looking. That focus back out. So if we go into settings, sorry, I'm trying to look at this through the camera, so it's not going that well. If we go back to interface, and if we go to status bar, you can choose the battery icon. There's a CM circle without percent and the percentage. Of course, I have percent, as you've seen, with the uh, little percentage next to it. Let's go back. They also have new performance, like new tweaks under performance, which I thought was kind of cool. You can mess with startup tweaks, of course, processor speed. It's on the Wheatley Governor, which is out of the box. I overclocked it to 1.4 gigahertz. You have the I.O. scheduler. I don't really know what that is, so I don't mess with it. You, you can also control your voltage, which if you know what you're doing. And then you have kernel control. So you have ZRAM, you have kernel, same page merging, and USB fast charge. And of course you can disable your boot animation, and then always proceed with caution when you're messing with stuff like that. And there's also the new Gmail. So if we go to Gmail, which is right here. And I just got the newsletter from, actually, no, we'll just do this because it's the comment was posted on something. So you see, this is the 4.2 Gmail where you can actually pinch to zoom, which is pretty cool. And this is kind of my order review of Codename Sammy. But you have the new pinch to zoom option. So you don't have to wait for the leak and you don't also have to wait for the uh, update either. So you can just use that. So going back to the home screen, if we go to wallpapers, there's the updated uh, Codename Android wallpaper app, which looks really cool. Sorry about the light issue, but as you see, now you can swipe to get to the other wallpapers. Codename Android, Codename. I don't think these are loaded yet. That may be why. Oh no, the background on them is different. I know you can't really see it on the camera, but the background is different. That one looks pretty sweet. Jelly Bean ROM, code name. It's like the element, like the AOKP one. It's in a whole bunch of colors. Actually, that's the last one. 
I like how the UI is though when you're changing the wallpaper and also you can a little button up there to change the wallpaper too so there's also touch whiz so if we go back to set wallpaper there are new touch whiz wallpapers those aren't really new but they they still looked good and they help match the theme as you see I have the dandelion wallpaper I got this from something else I didn't get this from this this ROM but this is a live wallpaper from the Galaxy S3 and also have the uh, what was the other one like kinda bubbles no I don't have the other one installed I don't think oh yeah it was deep sea from the Galaxy S3 also if you want any of these wallpapers just like message me and I'll send you the link because they're on my Dropbox so going back into the app drawer if we scroll over if, there's trickster mod now now I have no idea what this is because this stuff is just I don't even know but there you can change so much about this ROM now so start off we have Wi-Fi high performance which turn on if you wanna it takes a little bit more battery but I think it's worth it battery life extender f-sync you can mess with smart reflex you can mess with the voltages if you go over to generals you have TCP congestion I'm not even gonna act like I know what half of this stuff is so you can do ADB over Wi-Fi though I actually know what that is and then here's the about special thanks to the end of the device information so I thought that was pretty cool and also there's a new torch so if we go to torch, they now have the signage mod torch, which you have the flashing thing, just so you can like randomly go up to somebody and blind them, which is always helpful. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. And moving on to the last thing is the LG notebook widget, I mean app, which I guess they ripped off of the LG. What is that five inch LG phone on Verizon? Um, I'm talking to myself. Okay, I don't, I don't know what it's called, honestly, but you see you can, I guess, edit it. Yeah, you can like draw on it. You can change out pictures. You can move the pictures around. You have the text, so you can edit the text. You can move the text around, stuff like that, which is actually pretty, you know, handy. And then the improved speed, like with the folder animations. I don't know if you can see that, but see that like that little circle thing with, that has the folder on it that actually goes down and the icons stand on top of it. I think that's kind of cool. But it's, it's supposed to be faster when you open up folders. I just created this random game folder, so. But that's it for my updated review. It's still a really good ROM. Uh, let me go up to battery life and show you guys what I've been getting. Whoa, that's terrible. Um, don't worry, I have been getting better battery than that, but I've been using it a lot, so. Hmm. Wow, that's terrible. Battery on is one hour, 29 minutes. I don't know why the maps is open. But, seven hours on battery, we're at 9%, so. Battery life. It's on par with the last version, so I guess that helps. The last version got like. I get through the day at least, but I'm pretty sure that my battery is going on my phone in general because I have to charge it like three times a day anyways, so your battery life may differ from mine, but my battery life is going because my battery is dying, so I'm looking into getting a new battery, so yeah, this was my updated quick look at slash review of Codename Sammy on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. And everything else is the same in, as in the last build. As like the settings and toggles and everything like that. So that's why I didn't go through it. But if you want to see all the changes, make sure to check out my other review of Codename Sammy. And I go more in depth in the settings of all the toggles that you can change. And if again, if you want my wallpaper, just send me a message on YouTube instead of you know yeah 
Alright guys.